All right, so in this problem, we are given a formula and we want to see which of the following statements is true for this formula. So let's take a look first at our answers. And we have here in a statement A, we have H is always greater than K and that means that it is H is greater. And B states that H always has a lower value than K, so H is smaller than K. C states that H is always equal to K. And D states that H can either be greater or smaller than K. All right, so now let's see it. Let's take a look at our formula here. And if we want to see what h equals, we can subtract negative 3k on both sides. So our h equals negative 3k. Now in order to cancel out our answers to see which one is correct, we can try and disprove any of the statements. If we can disprove any of the statements using one example, that means that the whole statement is incorrect. So let's choose a positive value for h and a negative value. So we can choose a positive 3 and a negative 3. All right, so when h equals a positive 3, let's plug that in, we have 3 equals negative 3 times k, and we can divide negative 3 on both sides, so we have negative 1 equals k. So in this case, when h equals positive 3, h is greater than negative 1, which is k. So in this statement, h is greater than k, and that means that we can cancel out b and c. Now let's take a look at when h is negative 3. When h is negative 3, we have negative 3 equals negative 3 times k. And if we again divide negative 3 on both sides, we are left with positive 1 equals k. And that means that in this case, h is smaller than k, is less than k. All right, so in this case, we can cancel out a, and we are left with only d. Because d states that h may be either greater or lower than k, which is correct. Because when h equals 3, h is greater than k. When h equals negative 3, h is smaller than k. And therefore, d will be our final answer.